Project Festival Tourism International Summit for the invitation. But I want to thanks to the audience to stay here now because it's a very bad time, I know it. I want to introduce to myself, okay? I am Trinidad Dominguez, I am professor of the University of Vigo in Spain, but I am here because I am a research about accessible tourism, uh, tourism for elder people and uh, electronic tourism and the relationship within them. I have been researching about uh, tourism for people with disability uh, for the last 15 years of my life. Today, I try to summarize some ideas that uh, people told in these days and uh, with a simple objective, try to answer a simple question. Is the accessible tourism a real market opportunity? When we start to research, the first step is try to define clearly the concept that we are to research about accessibility, we have a double dimension. In one side is a social dimension, person's right to freedom from discrimination. And the other side that is very important is the technical dimension, is the material or emotional uh, support that grants the means to enjoy equal rights, not more or less, equal rights. This is the real objective. Why is important the accessibility? Because the accessibility have a lot of beneficiaries. In, on one hand, we have a people with disability. I know that it's very difficult to establish a specific data about uh, disability, but uh, nowadays it's around the 15 of the world population, but in 2050 will be 1.2 billion. But the most important is that elderly people, the world is aging. And uh, there are a clear relationship between people with disability and elderly people. 35 of people with more of 65 years has a disability. Nowadays represent around 11 percent, but in 2050 will be double. If it is not, we have uh, over uh, everybody is a, a beneficiary, beneficiary of accessibility. We have a uh, uh, families with, free, with children, sorry, that is my case. We have uh, people with transitory disability. We have uh, pregnant women, women, and we can speak that people that are beneficiary of accessibility in the world will be around the fifth part of population. To offer accessible tourist products, service, and environments give rise the number of competitive advantage as accessibility as a quality indicator, the increased consumer satisfaction, satisfaction sorry, and therefore the loyalty. If we uh, speak about economic uh, industry, we have here about the tourists the three most important variables, that is quality indicators, satisfaction, and loyalty, and only why? Well, sorry, with the accessibility. Okay, I know that is only a theoretical concept or arguments, but we can we have data about this. In Europe, there are uh, around 260 million of potential beneficiaries of accessibility. Okay, not it's clear that not everybody can travel, but uh, around 70 percent of population with disability has the economic and the physical and medical condition, conditions to travel. All people with disability travel with companions. And this will be a represent around 630 uh, million hotel rooms with uh, incomes between 105.2 and 210.4. In USA, the data are similar. And in Spain, that is my country, uh, I, I want to uh, show this example because um, the, the incomes come to represent between 2.4 or 40.4 uh, billion. This difference is because if we are focused only on people with disability, the economic uh, incomes are a few, like in this case 2.4, but 
if we speak of beneficiaries of accessibility, we speak around 40.4 million billion. With this data and arguments, why in our this collective? There are a lot of arguments, sometimes very stupid arguments, but some of them is that people are generally uncomfortable with disability. But the integration uh, into everyday life is real. Other argument is that the special needs of these groups are considered like a niche market. Okay, stop. We speak about people with disability. We speak about elderly people. We speak about beneficiaries of accessibility. Real is a niche of market. And then we have uh, companies are afraid to get it wrong or doing it incorrectly. In tourist industry, we uh, have a lot of chains with the low cost company, with the internet. And the companies feel afraid about this? Please, it's no. The lack of accessibility in the tourist products has a lot of uh, consequence, uh, sometimes a very bad consequence. Accessibility uh, is an indicator of quality. If the product or service don't have the uh, accessibility, maybe the quality is low. Lose out on business opportunity. Uh, my product is not accessible because I can follow a standards, real or half truths of some providers. They never achieve true quality and thus cannot find full benefits. If it is not, we have more reason because it's important, the accessibility. The current market trends. Nowadays, we uh, have a lot of trends that uh, boost the accessibility products. First, oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, the, oh, uh, the, the world population is aging. And these people, uh, the, these elderly uh, people, chain uh, of 10 years ago. Elderly people now is an active tourist that want to live, that have time and money. Then there are a lot of beneficiaries, as we comment. Uh, other consequence is the, the accessibility as a uh, sophistication. Okay, I know that is a, a complicated uh, concept, but if you go to a hotel and you have a very big room with a lot of space, okay, this is the normal accessibility rooms, for you, you feel like a very sophisticated. Then uh, uh, around 51% of people with disability have a pension. And if we translate to the in, uh, tourist industry, I have to say that have money and time to travel. In the last five years, uh, I research, I am very academic, sorry, uh, but there are a clear relationship between accessibility, environmental sustainability, and uh, social responsibility. And the last uh, uh, market trend is people with disability travel more time than people without disability. With all these arguments, I think that uh, we can say that you, we have a market opportunity the, with the accessible tourists. But we need design products and service door to door. It's very important, this concept. If I have an incredible accessible accommodation, but I don't have a transport, accessible transport in my destination, it's, sorry, it's stupid. No run the product. For this, I have the different elements of the accessible tourist value chain, like the uh, planification information, booking, transport, accommodation, food and beverage, tourism-based environments, resource, and administration. With this context, our third point is uh, nowadays is the dig digitalization. Why? The COVID-19 change or uh, economic or social life. And the, in the economic life, the tourist industry has a lot of problems. In the, our social life, we have a lot of change. You remember uh, the relation with your families, with your relatives, change or lifestyle. And then, this, as a result of this uh, pandemic time, 
the data traffic and the online purchase increases a lot. Okay, one moment. Think, I don't need the answer. Uh, do you have a family, friend, or relative that don't have a smartphone? How many people uh, don't use today internet? And if you have a smartphone, how many applications do you have in your smartphone? Yes, the user or consumer, sorry. We are a multi-channel consumer nowadays, okay? What is the meaning of this? We use web, mobile, social networks, point of sales. We live with internet, it's a reality. For this, our, our next step is try to get a good information. When you go to planning a trip or, tra or when you go to travel, the first step is the information. If you don't have the information, you can travel. Uh, if you have a disability and you don't have the information, you don't move. Tourists and visitors with disability need more information when planning their trips. 30% uh, say that the main barrier when travel is the accuracy of information. And the 50% percent, sorry, travel more if they feel secure about access to facilities. With this, uh, we think, okay, we need to analyze the information. The main re uh, resource of information nowadays in tourism is internet. With this, we uh, were working about the um, uh, information about accessibility, accessible tourists, and disability that have in the different official tourism website of all the world. Yeah, around 200 uh, websites. For this, we establish a different variables. In one hand, the type of information about disability, accessibility, and accessible tourists with the quantity, quality, search facilities, and level of web accessibility. And on the other hand, the tourist web resource with the service, cultural and recreational activities, and tourist attractions. We don't have time here to uh, tell all the results, but we are in Dubai. We can speak about the result of the Dubai official tourist website. Okay, the, this website is the best website uh, about information of people with disability or about information about accessibility of the mid, Middle East region. But it uh, has to continue to improve uh, the quantity of the information Following the samples such as, I don't know, Japan with an incredible quality of information, or Swedish with a good uh, quality and quantity information, or maybe Portugal that have a lot of information. I try to explain uh, the results of the Dubai. It's great, the first thing. You go to the website of uh, Dubai, and when you uh, go to the link, uh, planning, uh, uh, planning my trip, you have a direct link that say accessible Dubai. And you have all the information in this link. And it's great because you don't have to spend a lot of time trying to find the different type of information about accessibility. About the quantity, you have uh, two blocks. One that is the essentials aeroport, increased terminals, accommodation, sites and attractions, with the cultural themes, beaches and shopping. And then getting around with the metro, taxi, Dubai water and, uh, sorry, Dubai water taxi. About the quality, this is a very general, but uh, is the, the, the rule in the major part of websites of the world. A lot of information uh, are focused on wheelchair, okay? But people with disability is a very heterogeneous group, very different types of disability. Uh, about the uh, quality is, uh, it, it has a, a low depth and low quality. I try to explain, okay? And uh, you have a lot of resource but uh, uh, only say that is accessible. Uh, 
uh, as a tourist, uh, the last days uh, I was visiting different uh, sites in, in Dubai. I used a different uh, transport, like the metro. The metro is incredible in Dubai. Uh, if, uh, I think that is better than in Madrid or Barcelona. Have a lot of uh, visual signals, hearing signals, uh, with a lot of information. But you, if you go to the link in uh, here of the Accessible Dubai Metro, only say accessible. Okay, but why? I have a disability. I need more, more information about this. This is the to me, the biggest problem of the uh, Dubai web page that needs uh, more information to explain clearly to a, a person with disability what means accessibility in the different things. Okay? Summarizing the, the first ideas. People with disability are more complex and constraints to travel than non-disability. Tourism organization was site like a great promoters. In this case, the destination marketing organization has a great opportunity to attain with the internet the, the information about people with disability. Because the normal is that there are a lack of quality, quantity, and reliability of information. Two key ideas. Accessible tourism as a market opportunity? Yes, of course. COVID, uh, the tourists and the tourist industry and the digitalization change. We need internet all the time. Try to imagine the last uh, trip, trip in your life, okay? Imagine planning this trip without internet. It's possible, but maybe we, don't can, we can do now. For this, the destination marketing organization has a great opportunity to have a lot of information for people with disability, for elderly people, about accessibility, about accessible tourists in the website. When you travel, it's the first source that you go to internet. Please try to change. To get this, first, monitoring and lobby public organization. Uh, um, um, organization of people with disability, associations, families, have to press to change this, okay? Then try to design and apply a set of standards. We are working to design a standards about how, uh, uh, what uh, uh, type of information, about what uh, quality of the information has to have the different websites of the world, to try to homogenize all this information. And then the last is the reliable and useful information. Seniors and disability people need uh, travel a lot and need good information. Thank you for your attention. What's a pleasure.